From the 36 now, first and 10. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. That was a 
simple throw and catch that even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing on second down. Murray. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And this will be a gain of about eight to the 27 yard line. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it and really gets them amped up as they go forward. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Shot of the 10. Give him 16 yards there, and it's a Cardinals first down as well. And that was a nice, strong run by the guy they call the field general. Now a game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. It's first and 10 from the 12. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. You used to have a coach just tell us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use up paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Murray looks to throw again, second and ten. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the block. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. Now on third down, that pass knocked hey, down in the field. Field goal, y'all. Kick it early. Kick it early. Kick it early. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Timeout defensively coming from the Cardinals. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. to the 27. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that was... Play. 
The last run got a couple here, second and eight. On second down, a run with Breda. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Well, not a good omen there. His first throw of the afternoon intercepted. And I know what the fans are thinking right now. I hope there's not negative thoughts in his head going forward since that's his first throw of the game. But one of the things I remember about him coming out of school is he's able to wipe things away pretty easy. Into a double team and it's intercepted. What? Picked by Trayvon Mullen. And a big turn. Come on, bro. These guys will get the football back. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Are you serious, Isabella? God, you fucking kidding me, bro. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They trail 3-0 after the INT last time led to a field goal, but now another fresh start here, first and 10. Here's Greta. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers of reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Jameis to throw it. Man open. That's Debo Samuel. And now look at this. Big game and a fumble. And the Cardinals have got it. Got to be <laughs> His guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free, anything you can do to slow them down. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. And a quick throw here. That's complete. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Jones. <coughs> the reception good for seven. It's third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. <coughs> And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. It's a game of 11 and a Cardinal first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? 
Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now this time, Murray to throw it. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Cleland Farrell, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. In a pocket, bro, where are you going? They hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job to keep the that pocket, job clean. Bro. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing Still on quarterback it. Quarterback contains really stay in the pocket. Some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Throwing on second and long. Murray, that's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. <coughs> a good pick up there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. will kick it away. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up there. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Ready, 
The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Get their defense chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Now it's Breda. Boom here to run. There he goes, left side. Touchdown. This man is hard as shit, bro. There's no creativity, bro. Fucking bullshit, man. Santos able to tackle the edge. And that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Nice ass, yo. Now after the touchdown, Drew Kayser to boot it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Driving at the line, the Cardinal offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. First down, Murray. And he's got his man on the out route. 12 yards to pick up, good enough for an Arizona first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. <coughs> that last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. yard line nine yards to pick up there and it's a first down tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line they didn't just gash him there they blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through i think if he comes back to the huddle he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble so from inside niner territory now this is first and 10 at the 45 yard line Murray now on first down. Firing quickly here. And that's oh, I did that to the wrong man. Possible <laughs> three yards. Yo. Down. But that was well defended. And as a cornerback, oh, what you're shit. Was you a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. <laughs> he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. Murray going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. 56. Mike, 56, right there, right there, 56. Check back, check back. First and ten, here's Murray. They'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. 
And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's so second down. slow. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and ten, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. Got a block. Again, it's complete. Wow. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Got a block, bro. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The so, coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So third and goal, and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. Now this time he'll look to throw. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. Now San Francisco oh, will their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Unbelievable, bro. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. This from 36 yards out. I miss. Stupid ass internet, yo. Oh, his internet is so ass, bro. His internet is so ass. But when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. Little scar on the ground with Breda. Give the tackle to Hassan Reddick. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. This is Breda. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Well, so many times we look at a short run, and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Here's Winston. He's going to let this one go deep. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they get this rich pass midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's a first down with a cherry on top. 31 yards. So how about that for a turn move? And all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They run with Breda. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Second down, Winston. Flush out, and he can't get rid of it. He's 
taken down. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the shotgun, it's Winston. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Back of the end zone, should he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Man, oh, God, that shit. So three seconds here remain in the half. He better miss this shit. To see about getting three points. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. And the kick is good. He had a little help there from the crossbar, but the carom goes his way. So thanks to the late field goal, we're all tied up heading to intermission. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports halftime report, here's Jonathan Toastman. And ready to get the party started. Oh, man. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this one near the top of the line, call it the 26 yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Eight yards to gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They run again with Breedham. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Check 26, check 26. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They run again with Carson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On third down, Winston. Got his turn to Samuel. This man is so lucky, bro. And that was a heck of a shot. This man is so lucky. He has a superior right arm, doesn't he? You saw him play baseball. Yeah, he's actually a switch hitter in baseball. Outfielder, and then, of course, a very hard throwing pitcher. That's translated well in the National Football League. That it has. When he has to make that throw on the line, he's got plenty of arm to do it. And he's brought down at the 34. Ah, oh, this man is so lucky. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Kill, kill, kill. 
They stay on the ground again. It's Breida, and he'll be brought down, losing sorry, yardage bro. back at the 40. Oh God, it's sorry. That a loss of six yards, and it's third down now. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Here's Winston. And this is going to be incomplete. <coughs> and what would the dive look that time on defense? Just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished. All right, Malcolm Butler. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go down the field, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned, because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Second down, Murray sets to throw. And down he goes. The oh, the ahead. ball! Buckner, Dude, look in that. Eight sacks for him on the season. So one quick, easy analysis. Man, I was, was dumb. Just to make that easy read, bro. Long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of cover two. You got to go for one on one. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. No, he did. Murray with a third and long. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And it's a tremendous return as they No, he didn't move that mark over there. Line. That interception sets them up beautifully mm. already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find the spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. On first down, here's Breda. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. On second down now, it's Carson, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, yeah, is it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. And he's going to take yes, it man. Oh. Oh. So I mean, sir, he's so sorry. <laughs> Yo, what the and fuck, the bro? I read that shit. Position the turnover to cash this one in. Oh my god, yo. I'm sick right now. This is man. God damn, bro. Then his guys will take a 10 point lead. Oh man, man, help me, please. This is crazy, bro. And 
this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. You are. I don't think they're going to be running back on the door. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. Murray now on first down. Throw right side going to be caught by Seals Jones. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On second down, it's Ford. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Throwing on first down, Murray. And an alley to run. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. To throw again on second down. Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 28. Murray now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Seen but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. 
run works for defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. They stay on the ground again as Carson. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Sorry, shit, boy. Boy, ass. Down marker. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. This man is ass. I swear to God. Man, you better punt the ball. He tripping. going to punt the ball. Tripping. <laughs> you <bet. laughs> Yo, tripping. Man, you better punt the ball. It's fourth down. It's the, I'm on my point. I can go for it before. No, you cannot. Punt the ball. Look at the room. It's fourth and three. It's fourth and three. Punt the ball, you bum ass. You so sorry. Punt the ball. You're so vanilla, bro. You have no creativity. No, it's fourth and three. Read the rules. Punt the ball. Punt the ball. Fourth quarter, you may go for it anywhere on the fourth down. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm good. When you, when you don't have the lead, punt the ball. It doesn't say that, Slim. Man, punt the ball, man. Punt the ball. When you're down. When you're down. Read the rules. You so vanilla. You, you, yo, you so doo doo, bro. You have no, uh, you have no creativity. You have no creativity, bro. And you do? Yes, yes, I have creativity. You just got lucky just now. You know that, right? No, it's called one on one, a six six wide receiver with that. Two people guarding him. You have zero creativity, foul. Zero. All you do is run dive and stretch and screens and a scene. You you have no I'm disappointed in you, bro. Your ass. No creativity. Boy you got no creativity. I'm about to cut this shit off when I kick this field goal. I swear to God. Boy his ass have no creativity. I have no creativity. He should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Here's Murray. And that's caught left side. 
steals Jones with it. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. <laughs> that would keep firing. Murray now. A perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Murray now to throw. Now a desperation throw deep. It got his man complete. Six, six. We've got a one-score game six. with inside of two minutes Big remaining. boy. That is a big boy. Six, six. <laughs> so the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Back to throw. And now he'll tuck it and run. <laughs> eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Pick up out the there, first bro. Down. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They'll look to throw. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. <coughs> and he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. three-yard pickup and that sets up first and goal this is a very impressive drive especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal yeah it's a nice running right there that's what got them the first down but at this point i suggest open up your playbook you can call just about what you want only way to get the lead here of course with a touchdown and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal Seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. God damn, bro. He's back to throw. He throws that. 
Oh my God, he throws that! Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. Oh my God, he throws that shit! Over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Come on, God damn it. Murray now, third and goal. And it's a touchdown. Let's go. Let's go. He cannot throw a scene pass and tie the game or win the game because I might miss the field goal. Stupid ass internet. And what happens is guys get over eager, get out of their lane because hey, let's go. Hey, he's ass. He is ass. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Hate this client. He's so sorry. So vanilla, bro. I swear to God. It wouldn't surprise me, guys, if you try to run the ball. Would not surprise me at all. Would not surprise me at all if he tried to run the ball right here. All right, he's going to do the fucking the post. I got something for that ass. Ah, uh, which one? The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yard. He's got him there. He's so high. He's so high. <laughs> hey, yo, what the hell? Are you serious, bro? God damn, this man is. Where's the pressure? Oh my god, yo. Oh man, this man is. I need a sack, yo. This every time. This weak ass plays. He better run the ball. Yeah, run the ball. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. To throw in second and ten. Winston looking to complete it to Pettis and he's got him. This man is sorry, yo. Hey, God damn. Listen, you some bullshit was gonna happen. Damn, fucking press on this tight shit, bro. Sorry, shit. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. Here's Winston. They'll set up a screen for Breda. And down inside the 15. Sorry. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. <laughs> God damn, I choked, though. His internet better sham his ass right now. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. God damn, he nervous as shit. <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody, yo, you better miss this shit. God damn, that boy nervous. That boy is nervous. God damn, that boy nervous. What is he doing? He on some cheating shit. What is he doing? What is he up to? The delay of game backs him up five first and fifteen. Flip, flip, flip. 
Winston to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to George Kittle. It's tight end, but it'll be second down. What is he up to, y'all? Glitchy foul. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. With three seconds to go, if it's good, we're Ooh. off to overtime. And a timeout comes in. The That's an ice right there. Seconds remaining. That is an ice. That's a cold one right there. <laughs> Hurry up, bro. Look at this. <laughs> I hope the time right now. I swear to God, I hope the time right now. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. They better give him that motherfucking screen. He gonna miss, yo. Boy, he's scared as shit, boy. He shined it! <laughs> oh, that man shot everything! <laughs> oh, sorry, shit, boy! Oh, my God, this boy sorry! Oh, man, yo, this boy sorry, shit! <laughs> yo! 